for FC United in a central position towards the right, whipped into the box. Connor Brown goes for it, can't get to it. It's picked up there by Michael Donoghue. Donoghue back to Dodd, who will whip a dangerous ball into the area. Headed goalwards there by the Aaron Morris. Very good header there from the FC United right back, who will wheel away in celebration with his players. Nothing that the trialist could do. It was a great whip ball by, Don by Dodds. Found the head of Aaron Morris, who nestles it into the bottom corner of the goal. And we have played around 18 minutes in this first half here. It's a breakthrough for the home side. It's FC United 1, Barrow 0. As Luke James gets it into the feet of Callum Gribbin inside the FC United half. Back to Luke James, edge of the box, takes a shot on goal. Can't get in on target though, just rises up over the right hand upright of the goal and out of play it goes. Two man wall, everyone else in a line on the edge of the penalty area. The ball is whipped in the area and a shot comes in from Michael Fowler and it just trickles wide of goal. It was a free opportunity. Gets it out to Luke James, being held up on that right hand corner. Into Connor Brown, now Callum Gribbin. Gribbin back out to Luke James again. Luke James whips the ball in. Dior Angus gets up with a header. Just doesn't drop far enough though. And in the end, it's over the bar and out for a goal kick. Yeah, much better start from Barrow. Well, and now we are going to see those changes. Patrick Bruff coming on. Jack Hindle coming on. Morgan Penfold coming on. Tom Beadling, Josh Kay, Lewis Hardcastle. Mike Jones also coming on here for Barrow. It is as we expected. <laughs> Wholesale changes being made here. In possession again now, FC United. Forward it goes by Chris Doyle. Barrow win it back again with Josh Kay. Josh Kay running towards the edge of the area. Strong sliding challenge. Picked up again by Bedlin. Inside the box it goes for Jack Hindle who turns and gets a shot away. And Jack Hindle this time puts it low into the bottom corner of the goal. His third goal of the pre-season after his two against Holker Old Boys last Saturday. And Barrow have got themselves back on level terms inside the second half here at Broadhurst Park. Yeah, persistence wasn't it, Barrow reacting to the second ball. Josh Kay did extremely well for your pressing. It came to Hindle, Hindle no messing about. Just got himself in a shooting position and let fly and Barrow get themselves level. Now picked up by Matt Platt here at the back for Barrow. Out to Patrick Bruff. Josh Kay inside it goes to Hindle. Chip forward for Scott Quigley. Flag stays down. Quigley inside the penalty area. Quigley hits it low into the back of the net. FC United stop. They were looking for the offside flag. I think at one point Scott Quigley was stuttering, waiting to see if the flag had gone up. The flag stayed down, rightly so. Gets inside the penalty area. And the 20-goal season man last season makes no mistake. His first of pre-season to make it FC United 1, Barrow 2. Yeah, much better performance this, isn't it? Now, it's a, you know, a totally different Barrow lineup, and the commitments there, they look a bit sharper, don't they? And a little bit more composed. And now FC United will bring the ball away themselves. 2-1 to Barrow then here on BBC Radio Cumbria Sport. Turning it right around in the second half after wholesale changes, but here come FC United with a chance. Brilliant finish, has to be said. It came to Matt Van Wyk inside the penalty area. Joel Dixon couldn't stop it as it's drilled low into the bottom corner of the goal. 21 minutes into the second half. We've seen three goals in a short space of time, and it's now FC United 2, Barrow 2. Well, it just wakes everybody back up again, doesn't it? We got the goal, got ourselves ahead, and then, you know, decent little move from FC United. They switched the, no, they did that really well in the first half, switching the ball, and lovely ball into the centre. He brought it down on his chest, and he just played a lovely little ball into that channel, and it's a great composed finish, wasn't it? Touch and slotted it into the net, so, again, there's things to do better at both ends. Little passing this now from Barrow. Into Mike Jones, nice ball for Lewis Hardcastle. Takes a touch, tries to get it into Scott Quigley. Quigley creates a space for Hardcastle, who gets a shot away. Good save though, to Lenny Fieldhouse getting down well to make the stop. Barrow get possession back again. Patrick Bruff onto Josh Kay, holds it up well on that left hand side, gets away from a challenge, chips in. And if it wasn't for that late block there, Hardcastle would have been in, but the referee. Brings a halt to the game. Certainly an entertaining afternoon here at Broadhurst Park. You'll be fairly happy with that. You know, no major injuries. Nobody's uh, nobody's had a stinker or such. They've all played a, a reasonable game. Bit of fitness. Things, much, many things you could do better. You know, the passing in the final third could be better. Sometimes the first touches were were a little bit sloppy as well. And you know, you're lying them out. What you with, with plenty of training yeah. and. But, no, overall, not a bad performance. Full time here at Broadhurst Park. It has finished. FC United two, Barrow two.